Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. I want to do a quick video today on the BM800 microphone and an easy way that I use to hook it up to my radio. For those of you that aren't familiar with the BM800, it's a, a relatively cheap microphone that you can find on Amazon or eBay and many other online retailers anywhere in the neighborhood of $35 to about $50. And uh, it includes the microphone, the, uh, the piece of foam that goes over it, and it also comes with a boom mount, a pop screen, and um, the shock mount that goes on the boom so it's really a great bargain for that price uh, the problem is it's an XLR microphone that requires the 48 volt phantom power input so if you want to run this into your amateur rig you either need to to buy some type of little external uh, preamp that supplies that voltage and then run that to your radio or some people may run it into like a DJ mixer and then the DJ mixer to your radio uh, now I like to keep it simple and, and free up as much desk space as possible instead of taking up uh, some, some valuable space with another piece of equipment. So what I've done is made a, a little preamp that replaces the factory one and I'll show you both here in a second so you can see. So you just unscrew the bottom of the microphone and remove the cover and then here is the new preamp board. Uh, I'll show you an example. This is the, the one that was in there from the factory and um, the new one has been designed to basically be a bolt-in replacement. You just remove the screws, take the old one out, and put the new one in. And it's pretty simple. It's just you connect the two microphone wires here and then over here is your ground, your power, and your microphone audio out. And um, I just I wire this up to match the adapter cable that I've made for the radio. So this new preamp board allows you to power the microphone with a voltage anywhere from 5 volts DC up to about 15 volts and um, also adds the tone control adjustments on there. Uh, being an electric condenser microphone they're very heavy in the bass uh, region. It's a, it's a pretty flat response but they have more bass than a typical amateur microphone mic. So I find it's helpful to, to reduce the bass a little bit and then kind of boost the treble. Uh, this board does have additional filtering on it also that provides some low frequency roll off and uh, some, some high frequency roll off as well in the, in the very high frequencies so you're not passing along frequencies to your radio that uh, aren't going to be transmitted on the air anyways. So I'm going to get this thing put back together and connect it up to the, to the radio and then we'll move over to the SDR and let you hear what it sounds like on the air. Uh, before I do that real quick I'll just show you the cable that I made and uh, all I do is I simply take a little about four inch piece of cat5 and I cut the other end of it off and uh, then I, I look at the microphone wiring diagram for my radio and figure out which colors are, are for what and so it's just simply three wires going to the XLR I have ground power and audio and then uh, I also run a ground and the PTT wire over to this jack here and this is just a simple headphone style jack that goes to my PTT switch and that allows me to use you know I can use this as a handheld switch if I'd like or I can remove it and plug in something like a foot switch if I want to use that for uh, say I'm doing contesting or something and want to free up my hands uh, or you could simply use it in Vox mode so Anyways, uh, I'm going to get this thing put back together, we'll move over to the SDR screen and then you can hear how it sounds. Okay, and this is what the BM800 microphone sounds like, hooked up to the ICOM 7100. Uh, right now the tone controls are, are set to flat, bass is at zero and treble is at zero. Uh, just to give you an idea of what this microphone sounds like without any equalization. And now I'll set the, the settings to where I normally use them. Okay, this is with the bass set to plus three and the treble set to plus four. This is where I found it seems to, to sound the most ideal for my voice. Obviously yours may be different, uh, but now here you have an example of what the BM800 sounds like going through the new preamp and hooked directly into the radio. Thanks for watching. Uh, check the description below for a link if you're interested in picking one of these up.